a day. Mr. Speaker, we read a budget of 3.679 trillion Kenya shillings, and that is the correct figure. We are not adding our budget by the other figures I'm hearing flying around. Our budget is actually precisely 3.67 trillion Kenya shillings. Honorable Speaker, I want to contextualize because the work of the Finance Bill and the Finance Committee, uh, of course, together with the Debt Committee, is to fill in the revenue side of the budget. And what we did yesterday and we have been doing is the expenditure side of the budget. Honorable Speaker, any government have only four areas of raising revenue. That is the ordinary revenue, the A in A, the uh, grants, and Honorable Speaker, if we have privatization. Honorable Speaker, the current budget as it is, our revenue side, 2.57 trillion Kenya shillings is ordinary revenue. 347 billion Kenya shillings is appropriations in aid. Honorable Speaker, 42 billion is the grant, and therefore that gives a deficit, a much lower deficit from what we had last year, now at 718, 720 billion thereabout. On the expenditure side, because I want to contextualize Honorable Speaker, 2.3 billion Kenya shillings is the expenditure of the national government, which incorporates the parliament and the judiciary. Honorable Speaker, we also budgeted for 880, 986 billion Kenya shillings in CFS in payment of our debts and especially the interest rate. Honorable Speaker, we also budgeted for Kenya shillings 385 billion that will be sending to our counties as equitable share. Why am I giving all this detail, Honorable Speaker? This House has a choice to make. Honorable Speaker, we passed the estimates of, this finance, of the coming financial year. And what is it that we want to achieve so that we contextualize and we put on the same platform on what kind of amount of money do we actually need? Honorable Speaker, whatever I have enumerated on the revenue side and the expenditure side balances. And therefore, any variation on the revenue side has to have a corresponding effect on the expenditure side. Honorable Speaker, out of the 3.679 trillion Kenya shillings, we are spending the same taxes we are collecting, the same revenue we are collecting through the finance side of the budget. Honorable Speaker, 630 billion Kenya shillings is going to the education of the Kenyan children. Honorable Speaker, through this budget, and of course being supplied by the resources from the finance bill, we have been able to add an extra 10 billion Kenya shillings to those of us who are in JSS uh, junior secondary schools, Honorable Speaker, to capitalize the students. Honorable Speaker, through the same revenue that we are collecting, we have been able to double our help allocation from this exiting year of 15 billion to 30 billion Kenya shillings, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, through the same revenue, we have been able to add Kenya shillings 10 billion to NGCDF, Honorable Speaker, where every constituency will be receiving 25 million to 45 million, depending on the formula, in the next financial year. Honorable Speaker, we have been able to add and actually double the amount of money we give to Public Service Commission in terms of hiring interns. Next year, Honorable Speaker, we are going to hire 8,000 interns instead of the 4,000 that we are hired this financial year. Honorable Speaker, we have been able to allocate 249 billion Kenya shillings to our roads. We have been able to give our farmers fertilizer. The question that we must ask as this House, as we debate the finance bill, what is it that we have a problem with in terms of the expenditure? Honorable Speaker, we have to support the revenue side of the budget because, Honorable Speaker, that is where we draw the resources to be able to take our Kenya forward through infrastructure and any other kind of development that we are undertaking. Honorable Speaker, I support 100%. Thank you, Ndindi Nyoro. The Honorable Masara. Give Honorable Masara the mic. 
Thank yeah, you, Mr. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, opportunity to contribute to this bill, finance bill of 2023. Mr. Speaker, first, I want to appreciate the Kenyan people. For the first time in the history, they have really participated in, uh, in the co and contributed towards this contribution. This is where we have seen and uh, Kenyans have exhibited public participation. I want to encourage all Kenyans to be doing this in every bill so that they can participate in how they are being governed. Mr. Speaker, having said that, first, I want to say that I want to correct an impression which was given by my friend, Honorable Mohamed Hali. The mortgage we are being given as MP, we pay for it plus interest. It's not a, a free money for us. It is being deducted from our salaries. Therefore, somebody should not say that we are kutukona uh, binafsi. It is a right we have been given as member of parliament and we pay for it from our salaries. Mr. Speaker, I want also correct people who have said that we, we cannot continue borrowing. America is a very stable economy. Japan is a stable economy. But if you compare their GDP plus their uh, debt portfolio, they borrow, but they utilize their borrowing well to an extent they give other countries their money which they have borrowed. Therefore, this country can continue borrowing, but what we must do is we must utilize the money we borrow to trigger development in the economy. That time, that, that, that borrowing will help the economy. Mr. Speaker, on this particular bill, I want to say this. On Article 28, Clause 28 of the bill, concerning fuel, Mr. Speaker, fuel is a, a factor of production.